Here we are at Alcanada Golf Club. We're going to address Philip losing his easiest swing on the first few holes in a game we just played. Oh, oh, that wasn't intended. So that's what's coming up right now in this video. Okay, Philip, so that ball's pretty much gone 30 yards left of the target, mm. hasn't it? Mm, yeah. Would you say that this is a club path issue or a club face issue? Now, let's remember that the direction of the ball is seven times influenced more by the position of the club face. Yeah, so that, that's a really good question. And actually, no, the club face is pretty much square. So that isn't the issue. It's actually the path that the club's swinging off. Now, there's really some very, very interesting information right there. If the direction of the ball flight is seven times more affected by the club face, and here we are addressing a 30-yard pull, and Philip's saying, rightly so, that it's due to club head path. What is that telling us about the position at the top of your backswing? Well, it, 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 straight away, what I know and I can feel it in my swing is that Everything's going too upright. As we said, the, uh, for, I was influenced in the 70s by this idea of a straight yes. path through yes. the swing and a, a near yes. vertical swing plane. That, and that comes back to me at times. I, I don't want it to, but it comes <laughs> and back. And it comes back to you, especially under those stressful situations. Yeah. I mean, those first few holes, we, had, we, you know, we were playing golf in front of the camera crew. Yeah, yeah. It, the time it took to get ourselves together into a rhythm. Yeah. It's a new course, you've never played it before. It was very hot, your yeah. hands were... So, you know, there was a lot of factors going on that, that was putting Philip a little bit under stress. So yeah, just out of my comfort zone. Out of your comfort zone, and we revert back to what we already know. Yeah. So Philip was reverting back to his swing from the 1970s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so that's... 50 years ago. You know, we're all human. Yeah. So we're just going to find your easiest swing today. That was a 30-yard pull. We've both addressed the club path issue. Yeah. So out of 10, if five is a normal... So if that's uh, a correct path, If that that's would a be correct five. path, that would be five. What would you have given that out oh, of 10? So, so that would be around about two. A you know, two? Two, somewhere over here. A two than, out of 10. Rather can, five. can we do it the other way? Can we call that more an eight? Oh, right, okay. So this call so, that an so, eight. So it goes up to 10 this way. And it comes, and it comes down, down, to down to zero this way. Can we do that? All right, okay. okay. So, yeah, it was eight. So could you show me, just so we're both on the same page, could you show me what a two might look oh like? Goodness me. Just without hitting a ball. So, so, just so we're on five the... is where I want to be. There. Two's got to be, and I know where eight is. Two's got to be around here. Okay, super. Right. So we're both on the same page. Now we can work together as coaches, not as a golf teacher, as a golf coach. We both, we're both in this together. He's, I'm giving him responsibility and we're making sure our communication is clear and concise and accurate. Great, Philip. So can you show me what a nine out of 10 wow. looks like? Fundamentally, Sham, what, what I can feel in this, this whole thing when it happens is I get blocked. I, I, my, I'm not moving on this left side. So, you know, the first of our six bases mm. is turn. Is turn, and, and we and I'm not turning. And you know, we talked about that in on the on the second or third hole, didn't we? We we talked about turn. We yeah. talked about letting that left heel so lift more. Really exaggerate the turn. Thank you. And let's let the subconscious trust it. Okay. Ah, there you go. What a golf shot. To get to nine, I, yeah. I've got to reduce the turn even more. That would get me to nine. That's a result of the nine. Yeah. Just think nine and let your body not respond because that's not what it's going to do because okay. there's going to be no turn, okay. as you say. Yeah. So show me a nine. There we are. There's a nine. Okay, yeah. let's hit, hit one. Wow. Okay. That's difficult. But as you say, it straight away goes left. Straight away goes left. Club head path. Philip, I'm going to ask you to show me a 10. Ooh. Right. How okay. comfortable does this it feels, appear for you? It's getting very, very uncomfortable, Sharon. Oh, 
What was interesting about that shot, Philip, was that you started to leave the club face a little bit more open mm -hmm. in order to accommodate the out to in pass. Yeah, so at yeah. least your instinct, your intuition was starting to work for target. you there, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So it might even be better to swing a 10 out of 10 rather than an eight out of 10, yeah. because at least, then you, at least you, you can adapt and compromise, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So we've talked about club head path and that, how that affects the turn. Does it also affect timing? Oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Rhythm? Yeah, th this, is the, this is the other thing. And, and it, for me, it's the telltale sign. When it feels almost I'd describe as snappy, from the top of the backswing back to the ball, it happens too quickly. I, I can't control it. There isn't enough time to get to the ball. It feels horrible. It feels horrible. Yeah. 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 So I feel I've, th there isn't enough space. There isn't enough time. So that can be a reference point for us too. When we swing the club back more inside, looking for the three and the two out of 10, yeah. let's see if that affects your sense of timing as well. Okay. So Philip, let's hit this ball and show me what a two might look wow. like. Hold on, I'm gonna need a practice swing first. So two, that's gonna be around there. And just let your left heel lift as you yeah. let it respond yeah. to yeah. that. Yeah, as you say, all of a sudden, I'm having to turn a lot more and respond in that left knee, left heel. So what number out of 10 would you give that? I, w I wouldn't say I got to two, it's three. Three. Where did the ball go? Still 20 yards left. 20 yards left, there was a slight draw on it. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. So the fact that you felt that you were taking it more inside allowed you to release the, yeah, yeah. the, the club a little bit. But it, for me, standing behind you, that's why I'm standing behind, so I can just check if your perception matches the reality. Mm -hmm. Philip, it was more like a four and a half. Was it? Yes, it was. Oh, wow. Okay. So show me what a two is going to look like. Hmm. Now, Philip, could you just tell the viewers where that ball went? Well, that ball started maybe 10 yards right of the flag and just held pretty straight. It really. held pretty straight. So you didn't release it. No. Old habit. He's <laughs> been so used to coming out to in that he's, he's still stuck in that pattern. But at least we got the path. Give me a number out of 10. Well, it felt like zero. <laughs> it felt like a zero. It was actually three, wow. three and a half. That's where we want Philip to be at the moment. The reality of a five feels like a zero yeah, yeah. to Philip at the moment. Yeah. We, that might change over the course of time. So I'm gonna ask you to do a zero again. Wow. And this time we might see Philip trusting the swing a little bit more and releasing that club face. So give us a number, Philip. Well, again, zero. It felt like a zero. Yeah, yeah. It was a six. Was it? Yes. So still the wrong side. Six. Wow. Could you show me a minus two? <laughs> That's going to come to club. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, Philip. Can you do this with your eyes shut? Show yeah. me a two with your eyes That's shut. That's really good. <laughs> Which part of the club hit the ball? Exactly. So. Your club head awareness is spot on. And you know what? It looked more like a two. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. Which is why you missed it. Really out of his comfort zone. But what I'm doing here is just cutting off the, the sense, the, the sight sense. Yeah, the, and the just thing that's holding me back. Yeah, just to feel it. Just to feel it. So I'd like you to take your practice swing with your eyes shut, mm -hmm. feeling a two. Okay. And then hit the ball with the same swing. Could you just talk about that shot a little bit, Philip? Well, I certainly didn't hit any shots like that on the first few holes yesterday. No, you didn't. Much better strike, much better ball flight, pretty much straight, maybe a tiny bit of draw on it, a lot higher. The strike off the club felt completely the different. The sound was, sound was different. It was brilliant. But the key, the big thing I felt, Shan, I 
had so much time in the downswing here, time in the downswing to get back to the ball. And Philip, did you feel like you turned more? Oh yeah, yeah, there was a lot more turn. A lot more turn. I had to release this knee, I had to release the heel mm -hmm. off the ground, I had the shoulders, upper chest, all came around a lot more. Definitely. And Philip, out of 10, what number would you give the club head pass? Well, the, the intention was two, but I know it isn't two. You know, I can do that with my eyes shut in Tell the practice Tell me the number. Week. Reality four, maybe. Six. Six. Wow. This is so interesting because I have fought with this for a long time. And what it's telling me is that I make changes to it and I move from that eight when things go wrong and I think I'm getting better and I'm going to seven, I'm going to six when I think I'm on five. It is so good to hear you say this, Philip, because that's what I saw on the golf course. And we, you can't work technically on the golf course. You got it together towards the second part of the round. You found your yeah. skill and at the same time, you were still was in the wrong place. It was still in the wrong place. So yeah. we addressed it, but you can't really work with your swing on the golf course. And that's why we're here today. So it's wonderful to hear you say that, Philip, because I feel now Philip's taking ownership and his awareness is exactly where it needs to be. He needs, he's now absolutely clear on what he's doing and what he needs to do yeah, in order yeah. to correct it. It's really interesting. So I need to feel two in a practice swing. Maybe even one in a practice. Maybe week. even one for now. Yeah. In order that in when order. I hit it, it will feel like a maybe a two or a three. In reality, it's going to be a five or maybe even a six. With practice and work at this, I could get to below five. Exactly. Really That's where we would want to be. Yeah. Okay. Right. Practice swing with the eyes shut. Okay. So give us a number out of 10. Now I'm more aware of it. That was definitely on the six, seven side. Excellent. So now we're on the same page. So now Philip's more likely to show me what a three is going to look like or a two. Yeah. I'm going to ask you because you're more on the page, I'm not going to ask you to swing a two. That's like we've gone from boiling hot and we can get to freezing cold in order to find warm. Philip's now closer to, to warm. So I'm going to ask you to Give us a three on this one. Okay. You might want to close your eyes again just for the yeah, practice yeah, swing. I definitely want to do that. So it feels like a one. Show us a three. This side of five, the lower side of five. Mm. Okay. So if that, if I give you that as the task, yeah. the lower side of five. Lower side of five. Give us a number. That felt like five. That was five. Now we're on the same page. Philip has just hit the best ball I've seen him hit in the, in the whole day. In, in, well, and conclude. Yeah, yeah. The, look at the game smile on his face. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's that simple, folks. So no instruction needed. Mm -hmm. Coaching. This just is the awareness, art of coaching. Awareness. awareness, awareness. I've really enjoyed that. This has taken the best part of five, six, seven minutes. Yeah. Hasn't it been fun? It's been great, Shan. Thanks ever so yeah, much. I thank you. Appreciate that. I can't wait to go out and practice. This. I can't wait for my and I hope my drink. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope if you've watched this and you you feel that you can learn something from this, that the 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 thing that Shan gave me was this uh, bringing together my awareness with the reality. Philip perceives he's at four when he's actually at seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that can't help you, can it? That can't help you. So I hope you've really enjoyed this short video, this short instructional video. And if you have, like and subscribe to the channel. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now from Alcanada, Mallorca.